Um, Tony's going to get up here for this match. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, sorry. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, do uh, sit on uh, this side. Do, is it? Are you cool sitting over? Uh, can you see right here? Do you, you want to get over here? Okay, and that's your headset right there. Joined by the one and only world champion, open doubles champion for Moneyball Northwest, Tony Spraderman. What's cracking, dog? Hey, buddy. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for being here. And just for the record, no request necessary. Green light is always there for you to join us up here. Okay. Well, I see Adam Gilson up here, Gilson yep. up here a lot, and I don't want to we, step we, on any toes or nothing. We can go three wide. All right. He was he was sick the other day. I don't know if you knew that when when you were up here with me. Was on he Saturday. using this headset? No, it wasn't that kind of sick. It was food po food poisoning. Oh, okay. He went well. <laughs> let, me, let me be more clear. He had Taco Bell at five in the morning. Uh, that'll get you every and time. It got him that time. And he'll be back here in a minute, so we'll be three wide. And uh, better than three deep. <laughs> better than three deep. <laughs> <laughs> Individually, they're amazing. I, I don't think they have their teamwork quite worked out yet as far as like passes you know i was essentially leaving tons of passes for brandon to throw up to blake but he hits him so fast and blake wasn't prepared to yeah. to catch him so and is that a ball because adam and i were talking about that blake when he plays with ryan he catches those all day long it seems like he catches a lot of passes i'll say it that way all yeah. day long and with brandon i don't is it a matter of where he's releasing him is it the ball speed is it the, all the stuff that happens before that why do you think uh, blake struggles to catch those well a lot of it's not just the speed of the pass but it's more so uh the release and and knowing when someone's going to do it you know reading the holes together so obviously like ryan and blake have played together a lot yeah and, um just familiarity it's her first time so if they i'm sure if they play together a few more times they'll figure it out but this is a uh, interesting singles here isn't it yeah oh they started already what the a hell? yeah a lot of speed going a lot of speed and a lot of um maybe some ego and kind of a Seeing who can outspeed the other. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think it'll be funny. It'll be a fun, fun match to watch. Who do you think that favors the the up paced? You know, typically people will see Blake as a up paced player, and this is his style of play. But going against Brandon is is that true? Is this his style, uh, or should he should he do something different? Here's the thing. Uh, Brandon is Brandon's really really fast. Blake's also quick. Yeah. This I think this style helps Blake. I don't know if he could beat Brandon because Brandon's a really amazing singles player, obviously. Get that out of but here. But this style is good for Blake because when he gets on a roll, he's hard to stop, right? Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> and he, he can get creative, but when there's no pressure on him, is when he's the most dangerous, right? You know, when you start putting heat on him, he starts getting tentative. But when you get him just rolling and he, and, and he gains this momentum and he doesn't feel that pressure and he's having fun, that's when he can poke anybody in the world like Blake's really amazing it's just uh, a matter if he can get on that that role or not yeah the he, homie he, uh, Terry Rue was in the chat earlier and he was yeah. talking during that last match saying that Blake doesn't have his normal swagger his flow up front right well if you have you know right now he's able to freewheel a little bit because there's no pressure on him he doesn't right. have a partner he's you know no expectations he's just kind of playing so we'll see what happens well that just happened <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't know it, I'd like to see Blake put a little more effort defensively, right? He just yeah. kind of sits there. He's, he plays a very position-based, and he's smiling about after losing that game. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be good for him or not. Looks like Brandon's gonna just keep doing what he does. Yeah. How do you practice defense? You, you're talking about give a little bit more effort defensively. How do, well, how, how do you I, work on that? Well, what I mean is like look look at his style. It's very man position. It's very very position based, you know, push side, pull side, spread the middle, push side, pull. There, there's no like fight in his defense. It's mm. just more so like hoping he, hoping you run into him. He gotcha. runs more of a bait and switch style. Where like you know myself, I'm I'm kind of hustling a little bit more. Right. And with those hustle blocks, you get with those that hustle type defense. You get blocks inadvertently sometimes just because you're you know sweeping the mouth of the goal yeah. stuff like that. So, and against Brandon, you kind of have to do that because. <laughs> you know, he's just kind of coming at you from all angles, so. That's a fun pass. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. It's like. Funzy ball. Yeah, I think Brandon's going to win that match any, every time because those yeah. are just wasted possessions. You know, at least the, the shots that Brandon's putting on goal, they're push kicks, pull kicks, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Blake's just kind of trying to make a game out of it. 
So I don't know. What is what is the reason? Brandon has been good for a long time, obviously, a few, several years now. What what what's the thing that it seems like he took it up to another level recently? Brandon? Yeah. Oh. Is that just is that just something that folks see and it's not real, or is that is that a thing that actually? Well, happened? I think he's gained some experience recently, right? He's been playing a lot of the tournaments in the U.S. Like if he he's had the the skills and the abilities for for years, um, but he was stuck in Costa Rica, right? And you're only going to get as good as the uh, people true. around you, right? Yeah. And, you know, when he would come to the, the States to play a tournament, it was more so, um, it was a big deal for him. So there was maybe some nerves, some pressure, some, yeah. you know, so, so it was more so now he's kind of settled in. He's getting to know the players. He's going to have a game plan against, you know, the players. And, and he believes in himself, Yeah, you know, because he's proved himself at this point that he's, you know, one of the top singles players. And, um. You think he's the best player out of Costa Rica? Oh, yeah, for sure. No doubt about it. We talked, God, it's probably seven or eight years ago now. It's been a while. It was one of the TKOs, I think, when he was still an expert. And I was like, dude, this dude here, you know, and I'm all, I'm in awe, right, of all the, just the skill, the natural talent that he has. And you're like, he's not even the best player from there. And I think his brother was it? Yoel, yeah. Yeah. At one, yeah. Years ago, Yoel was, he had not quite the speed that Brandon has, but, he can definitely rival. Like he wouldn't do that. Jeez. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Um, but Yoel was a little bit more structured than Brandon, yeah. which made him more dangerous and a little bit more consistent, right? Yep. So Brandon, his his lack of discipline can still get him in trouble. It's a very fine line. Um, you know, especially when you play good players, like you can get away with a lot of stuff against these top guys. But when someone's, you know just fast enough where you know those quick shots that you're taking end up costing you that's going to be the difference and that's yeah. when he's going to start feeling a little bit of pressure is when someone he can't get away with you know all of this kind of stuff on on someone so and blake is is fast enough you <coughs> see he's just kind of lax look at him he's just sitting there waiting for the ball <laughs> to go there blake's fat definitely fast enough he's just kind of being lazy and it's i don't know if it's the not try sim, sim uh, syndrome you know, he's definitely fast enough, but he's just kind of watching Brandon do everything. So, I don't know. I'd like to see a little bit more effort defensively there. That was a good block. I'm just yeah. popping in here, Tony. But are you, are you saying that he's he's just not trying? Like, he just doesn't – is it a matter of not caring? Like, you played him quite a bit. Is yeah. he just not here this weekend? Or? Uh, well, I know Blake hasn't been playing a whole lot since mm -hmm. uh, Worlds, taking some time off. Yeah. I haven't seen him locally. I, I saw him last week at a, lo a local get-together. And uh, he told me he just hasn't been into it. And, you know, he's – sometimes you need a break, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, we all get burned out and everything. So you could, I, I could definitely see the difference this weekend in Blake's game. He's just – I don't know if he's just not as fired up, maybe a little bit bored. I, I don't know. Hmm. But You think it's one of those things where it's easy – it's easier to stomach a loss if you, exactly. quote, unquote, don't care. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's not practiced, so it's hard to put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. If, you know, it could be frustrating. Oh, look at that. The ball <laughs> just stays there. <laughs> oh. And that's what I mean, right? Th those types of possessions right there. If you got someone putting heat on you, yeah. that could cost you. Right. You know, he was trying to go into the set up as a pull, roll it over and go into a snake shot, you know, a quick shot. Flip overs, you know, those things. It's a fine line you got to uh, oh, wow. <laughs> value your possessions. <laughs> Three one. This is it's two nothing already. Yeah. Yeah. You missed. You missed two. I was. Go, I was just like, gone. No, dude. I had two senses with Mades out there. And, no, okay. It's, Things it's are a, moving. It, it, they started quick and it, it got it got the two games really quick. Wow. Matter of fact, this game already probably longer than the first two combined. If I had to guess. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like Blake's got a good two rod, a good two to the five, and he's just kind of just hitting it at an angle. Yeah. You know, I don't really see him putting forth a true effort. You think his two to five is better than his, his uh, shooting series out of the back? Uh, with someone with a good zone, I've I've had this talk with Blake before. It's like he'll be in a. I've played him and he's had really we've had really good matches and his two route has costed him um, on multiple occasions. And he and I told him two to the five. If you look at historically, all the people who who won like open singles, mm -hmm. um, apart from someone like Ryan or yeah. Billy. Everyone's passing two to the five. Yep. And unless you have a two rod like Ryan or Billy, it, it becomes a liability a lot most of the time. So that was 
That was a quick one. Yeah. That was. That was a quick one. <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, dude. I, yeah. I would ask you if you want to do the next match. I wish we had more to talk about. But, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it would be more matches after your next one. 